the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again. Glory to judge the living and the dead. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life uh, everlasting. Let us pray. Grand, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of the regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps go for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. And even as some of your poets had said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art, and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that every people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about the resurrection of the dead, some began to scuff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them, but some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysus, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with him. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven, heaven. and earth are full of your glory. Praise the Lord's from the heaven. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels. Praise him, all you hosts. Heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. Let the kings of the earth and all the peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too, and maidens, old men and boys, heaven, heaven and, earth. and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his <clears throat> name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven and earth. Heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full, are full of, of your glory. glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys today? Good? Everybody? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a nice, beautiful, bright day. You now we all feel it when it is nice and warm and bright. And we are here in the house of the Lord. That's a, that's a wonderful thing that you get to come at least once a week 
know, when I was studying in grade school, every day we begin with the Mass. That's the first thing. And month of October, we pray a rosary and we end before we end the school. And it was a it was a beautiful thing always. Come to the house of the Lord, spend time with the Lord in prayer. Okay. To talk about something about the liturgy of today. In the first reading, Saint Paul speak to the people of Athens. You know, the Greeks, the ancient time, they were known for their learning or their quest for or their search for wisdom. You know, starting from the great philosophers, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, or even before them, you know, the um, Philosophies like Heraclitus, Thales. So, and Athens was known for what he called the center of learning. You know, let's say, like in, in our terms, we, we say like, you know, the Princeton University or Harvard University. You know, the place known for its excellence in learning and studying. And now Paul tells them, that he's going to talk about a God. We all know about God, but he says that God is Jesus Christ. And why Paul talks about, talks about that God? Because he says, you know, learning is important, doing is important, but the most important thing is Knowing that one true God. That is Jesus Christ. And that's why we come every week here. And every day. You know, you guys spend a little bit of time in prayer every day. So that is to keep our friendship. Our relationship with the Lord. And that will enable us to live a good life as good human beings. You know, that's what Paul realized. You know, before his conversion, Paul was an excellent man. He was a Pharisee, well educated, well educated both in Hebrew and Greek. A social, high social standing. And then on his way to Damascus, he meets Jesus. Everything changes. He says, once I come to know the love of Jesus, he says, everything else is rubbish. No, that does not mean that we don't need to work hard. We need to work hard. So we have to make use of the gifts that God has given. But where our priority is to know the one true God. And once we come to know the one true God, then everything else becomes... Everything else has to come around our faith and the person of Jesus Christ. It's like Jesus has to become the cornerstone of our life. That's our main aim and goal of being, you know, Catholic education. You know, education is important. Academic performance, importance, excellence in co-curricular activities, importance but the most important thing they say the education sorry 
the heart of education is the education of the heart and you guys have that opportunity to grow in your faith so make use of that opportunity to grow in your faith as jesus says seek first the kingdom then everything else will come to you as we are very drawing very closer to this academic year and year is gone in the blink of an eye so summer is almost coming let's continue to pray and seek god's help and grace and month of may is dedicated to our blessed mother through her powerful intercession let's ask the grace that we may always always remain close to the person of jesus christ so with that thought please rise and let's continue with the eucharist Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For the Holy Catholic Church, may we turn to God in faith and ask for the bless his blessing upon it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayer. For peace, justice, and hope in our troubled world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, uh, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood especially in our diocese that young men will answer the call of god to serve him we pray to the lord lord uh, hear our prayer then this month of may we will offer our prayers the blessed virgin mary and ask for her prayers of healing for those who are sick especially with the coronavirus we pray to the lord Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, that we will always remain open to hearing the word of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and especially for the soul of Barbara Pinta, that she may share in the glory of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. Month of May is dedicated to our Blessed Mother. Today, in a special way, ask the powerful intercession of your, your, bless, your mother, that's our mother. Bless these young minds. They may open their hearts and minds to experience the love of your son and may share that love with one another. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Please be seated.
Lord, what should be our way of blessing and the cleanses from our sins. Pray, my dear children, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, set your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice, how made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that we have come to know your truth we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you at more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is re renewed, an integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time He was betrayed and entered willingly into His passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving things, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer a Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Just bring it to the light of the world. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body
breast. Divided breast. Divided breast. Let us pray. Graciously be presented to your people. We pray, O oh Lord, a lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the newness of life. Through Christ uh, our Lord. We shall pray together. Pray to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. So thank you, teachers, parents, grandparents, and all those who are part of our school family. Thank you for your love for Catholic education and uh, love for our school family. And my dear children, you have a, a wonderful day. So thank you everyone and enjoy this day.